guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be testing all my batteries on my cars with this new battery test that I got on Amazon. All my batteries have been depleting quicker than I expected lately just because I don't drive my cars enough and I wanna test the output on them. So today we're gonna be testing my batteries on all my cars with this new BM580 battery tester. This thing's like a $25, $30 tool that I got on Amazon. And I just needed to use this to check all my batteries because all my cars just kind of sit here all the time. I don't really drive them as much because I work from home. So my batteries are always getting depleted. I do have battery tenders that I use once in a while, but those things still don't keep up with it because I don't keep it on all the time. I just charge it up to 100%, leave it for a couple weeks and then use it again and then my battery's dead so on the is 300 the x side battery that i got from home depot has been acting up lately it's not been holding charge as long as i expected so i'm gonna be testing that today i'm gonna be testing my optima battery and then all my other batteries on my other cars but overall this tool is a very useful tool i think it's pretty basic it gets power when you clip it onto your batteries it does 6 volt and 12 volt you do pretty much load testing cold cranking amp testing and a few other tests that are in the menus but those things basically let you test everything you need to on the battery whether it's just sitting there whether it's on with the alternator and you run the engine or if you're just running other loads on it in addition to battery testing it also has a multimeter that does like starter tests and all that so you guys plug this up start the car up you can analyze the charging system as well as analyze the battery right there just on the multimeter setting under setup you basically have various things like the language the beeping the different themes you want and just general information so the general information just has a serial number and firmware information the waveform testing again this thing is just measuring the output and the input as you're running their battery in a car so you can test that out and see how all the spikes and everything are working so you use this tester on the car, you basically just plug it up to the terminals right there, get into here and just go ahead and enter all the specs on your battery. So there's a 12 volt battery, it's in vehicle or in vehicle tests. And then we wanna go down to just regular battery tests. And then this is a flooded battery and then it's cold cranking amp. So we wanna just set it up to the cold cranking amps of this, which is 800. Once we get that, we just go ahead and then you can see here my battery, even after just a year of putting it in, it's way below and needs replacement. We can't get our cold cranking amps and our voltage is really low. And I just charged this thing a few days ago too, so that's a big issue that it's just draining. So after testing on the IS300 battery, which I know has been bad just because it drains on me, I'm testing it on the Sienna, which if you guys saw my video a couple years ago, I've had this for almost four years now. It still starts the car up every day. So we'll go through and do the same test on this. So this one's got a little bit less cold cranking amps. So we're gonna have to just take it down. This one is rated at 725. We're gonna do that. So right now, it's showing it's at 52% charge. So it is starting to lose its charge and holding capacity. It still starts to car up every day, but yeah, I can see probably another year or so, this thing's gonna go out, but you can see that right there, state of charge 52. We still have 500 cold cranking amps and your voltage is still good here. The resistance is going up, obviously, as this thing's age. I just sold all my golf cart batteries, my old ones, and I used this thing invaluable. I actually tested them all, and the three that I had that were three years old were still holding pretty good charge at 600 and something cold cranking amps. Uh, the brand new one I bought was a little bit less just because it hasn't gone through all the recharge cycles. The two I had that were really bad and very low, those things were actually beeping and complaining that they needed to be replaced. So it actually worked great for that for testing. And then when I sold it, I showed the buyer exactly what they were getting. So the next battery I'm testing, this one's also been draining on me just because I don't drive the car much. This one's an Optima Red Top. If you saw the video where I installed this a couple years ago, I bought it around the same time I bought the one on the Sienna. But so this one's going on almost four years now. And it's also not holding as much, but we could test it. This one was an AGM Spiral, I believe. 
So this one is also tripping. Um, it's showing 75%. We got 625 cold cranking amps. So everything on this one suggests it's very similar to the one on the Sienna right now. Next, we're gonna test the battery on the Avalon. So this one was replaced in October of 2022. It's an AC Delco, 600 cold cranking amps. So we'll see what we're reading here. So this one shows 61% normal and 470 cold cranking amps, voltage and everything. So this one didn't have any issues, it says normal. So the other ones were telling me to charge the battery and stuff even though the percentages were similar, which is odd. But I guess based, it's based on the cold cranking amps and a percentage of that. But overall, it looks good as far as this goes. So since the IS300 battery is pretty bad right now and it's only a year old, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out, take it down to Home Depot, exchange it for a new one, and then we'll test the brand new one to see what it reads. So we got this thing replaced at Home Depot, got a new one. Go ahead and test this baby out, see what we get. The funny thing is at Home Depot when I went there, they showed only one left in the store and this was the one but when I went to the, the shelf, there was actually two. The other one was the exact same uh, delivery date as the one I picked up last year. So no one's bought that one since last year, which was crazy. So right now it's only getting five something, but it's also only half charged. So this is a good battery. The other one was basically dead. I need to actually keep this thing on an actual tender. So when I get this back in the car, since I don't drive my IS very often, I'm gonna put it on one of my smart outlets with a tender on it and just kind of have it cycle a couple hours a day just to keep it popped off. So I charged this thing overnight with a Tornado 4000 here. And we'll go ahead and just test everything to see what it gets right now, brand new, basically out of the box. So it shows state of charge is 81% with 718 cold cranking amps, which is less than I thought, even though this thing read that it was at 100%. So I checked it again. I reclipped the clips close to the terminals as a better connection onto the terminal. And it actually jumped up to 89% with 755 cold cranking amps. That's pretty close to the rated one, but the rated one is also at zero degrees, which still is below what it should be, I think. But overall, this is a good, useful tool just to have in your toolbox to randomly test your batteries to make sure they're good and even test new batteries to see how well they are. Thanks for joining me on this quick video on using that new battery tester I got to test all my batteries. As you can see, it's a very useful tool to do all your battery testing, especially if all your batteries are starting to go bad on your cars. For around 25, 30 bucks, uh, it's a good tool just to have around all the time. If you guys need the same tool, check out the links down in the description. I'll link it to Amazon. If you guys found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to your channel to stay on top of all my different DIY content, go ahead and subscribe to your channel. Turn on bell notifications to get notified every time I upload a video. For all these different projects, if I can do it, you guys can do it. I want to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.